Hello, cherry lovers. Today is, what is today? Friday, April 16th, and we're back up on the farm. I'm up with Larry this time, and we're getting ready to get started. We got a lot of work to do. We got to put in the, the posts for the fencing, and then put the fencing up, and we got lots of wood that needs to still need to be uh, split, and gonna pick up a lot of the uh, branches that are broken off the trees, clean up the yard, get it ready for the spring cherries that are hoping that are gonna come this year, hoping that the weather will cooperate. We've got other things to do like putting the mulch down and just kind of tidying up here. It's gonna take a few more days. Hopefully won't take longer than the 10 days that I'm up here and uh, hope we'll get it all done. Hey, cherry lovers what I got going on right now is I stuck the posts where I want them to be uh, this right here is gonna be where my gate is right in here and this is where the fence row is gonna go all the way down through there I'll take you for a little walk it's getting windy anyways this is what we got going on I, I made the fence a little bit wider than the old fence uh, because I wanted a enough room on the outside when they get big enough that you bring in m machinery to pick the apples I have enough you never have enough but I got enough anyways so anyways that's where it ends here and then if you turn and go down that way and uh, all the way to the end I haven't got the other side yet still got that one brush that brush right out there I still got a little more of that to clear and then once I do that then I'm gonna put five foot chicken wire up two inch holes and then I'm gonna take down the old fence but uh, I plan on putting a gate up there where the boat is I'm going to uh, haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do up there I I really don't know what I'm gonna do uh, I know I got to do something I'm uh, thinking about right just right in here all the way up to the barn uh, make it look like an old-fashioned wooden fence with the slats going across and just kind of make it decorative paint it and then have a little gate right here to go in and then like I said over there I gotta put the post down in the back and I'm not sure if I want to put a small gate in the back over there so I'm gonna do some thinking tonight but that's what I got done like I said I got the tree done I got this one all cut up out back here all right that over there all that out there it's got to be that's partly gonna be trimmed I'm gonna pick up the pieces and dump them over where I've been dumping them so that this summer all you have to do is split them and then I got to get that out of there but whether or not I get a chance we'll see because they're saying calling for rain this evening and tomorrow so
A refresher? First one, the first one's got to go right here. Okay, and here's what we got to do. To hook them up, we're going to put the, on the outside, these things here to hold the fencing. The little tip, tipples. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe straight up and down. Under the On to the next one. Got her to work, people. She's up here working. <laughs> I got her working, people. 
You saw her doing those T-posts, didn't you? <laughs> it looks like that this rope needs to come over this way. What do you think? I'll go down there. You lay that down. And we'll straighten it right up and lay it. Otherwise, I'd be right in there helping her. 
but I'm her tripod, so. <laughs> like a puzzle. There you go. I'm gonna have to take her to steak dinner tonight. Get on that tractor. Get going, baby. Show them this. Show them this lady knows how to operate it. Year when we when we got it, she knew what she was doing. She's got it figured out. Hey, why don't you stop and pick that up? <laughs> uh, she's gonna be yelling at me, folks. She's gonna be yelling at me, folks. Stop it and help now. <laughs> 